As of Saturday, February 27th, 25,000 Syrian refugees have landed in Canada, which means the Liberals are checking off the first phase of their revised refugee plan. But rather than all 25,000 being government-assisted refugees, more than 8,000 of the arrivals are due to private sponsorship. Only days before the last plane landed in Montreal, Canada's Minister of Citizenship, Refugees and Immigration, John McCallum, officially announced Bill C-6. There should be only one class of Canadians, that a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. A bill meant to repeal the contentious C-24 passed by the Harper Conservatives in 2014. People would say, well, I'm a citizen, so I'm safe. I'm a permanent resident, so I should be safe. I'm in Canada, so I should be safe. Anymore. Not anymore. That bill became known for a myriad of controversial provisions, but perhaps mostly for its revocation clause. The power to revoke citizenship from dual nationals, or even people who are not dual, dual nationals, but who might have a claim to citizenship in another country. Bill C-24 gave the government the power to take citizenship away if they were found guilty of a national security offense. Bill C-6 now scraps that power, but it doesn't undo every change the Conservatives brought in. For instance, the immigration minister can still single-handedly take away citizenship in the case of fraud or misrepresentation. I would be very happy to take away that person's citizenship because it was a crime committed in the act of getting a citizenship. The current government has stopped short of repealing the ability of the minister to unilaterally revoke an individual citizenship without so much as a trial before a neutral arbiter in a neutral court. But when considering the problems of the immigration system as a whole, the limits of this new Citizenship Act are just the tip of the iceberg. Key concern for us for a long time has been the detention of migrants and refugee seekers, asylum seekers in Canada. Hundreds of people are put in these cages for the crime of being born elsewhere. Do we want a society where some people are bonded and others are, are, are so-called free? Organizers like Chris Ramsroop point out the contrasting silence around the precarious status of migrant and temporary foreign workers. From our understanding, the current uh, changes proposed by the uh, Federal Liberal Party of Canada uh, do not include migrant workers or the temporary foreign workers. And as such, this group of workers continue to be excluded. Uh, there was virtually no discussion about these group of workers during the election. And the Liberals continue to ignore their plight. In fact, just a week before the government announced Bill C-6, it had called for a review of the Temporary Foreign Workers Program. And no details have been provided, but we don't believe at this present time that any review in itself will meet the, 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 the injustices that are currently faced, nor will it be addressing on its own uh, the issue of residency or permanent residency for, for temporary foreign workers. If we're going to talk about citizenship rights for a few, we should be talking about citizenship rights for all.